News for Women. Hello and welcome to the Frosty News for Women. I am Tierica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today is July 9th, 2023. Here is the Feisty News for Women. The Taliban in Afghanistan has issued yet another decree limiting the rights of Afghan women. Thousands of beauty salons will be forced to close their doors by the end of the month, cutting off one of the last remaining sources of income for women. Restricting women's rights in Afghanistan is creating a gender apartheid, according to the United Nations Deputy High Commissioner for Human Rights, Nada al Nashid. Since seizing power over Afghanistan in 2021, the Taliban's rule has weakened the economy to historic lows, as well as placed severe restrictions of women's participation in public life. Women have been banned from attending university, Women's health care has been restricted so that women can only receive health care from female doctors, yet there are very few women allowed to become doctors. There is also a strict dress code for women who are required to wear a burqa, which covers the entire body. And if a woman does not comply, her male relatives may be imprisoned. This is a clear indication of the Taliban's self-hatred and powerlessness expressed in the form of patriarchal rule. With the starving economy, an intelligent government would be raising up the best thinkers, regardless of gender, to solve the country's social problems instead of limiting the brain power available to them. It's disgusting. In other news, ice cream brand Ben & Jerry received backlash this week for a tweet the company sent out in celebration of the 4th of July, which called for the return of stolen indigenous land. Angry protesters called for a boycott, which triggered stocks for Unilever, the company that owns Ben & Jerry's, to fall by 53 cents in just a few days. Should companies take a stand in speaking out against injustice? Absolutely. Those with the biggest voices should scream the loudest in support of human rights and fair treatment. Thank you, Ben & Jerry. Well, it's time for a break. What would you do if you knew that you could not fail? We'll meet a woman who believes she can do anything in life and has the resume to prove it. When we come back, don't miss it. My heart for homemaking flows through my hands into each knot of my work. My name is Natalie and I'm the owner and maker of Fringe and Free. I started my business because I wanted more home decor handmade with natural elements. My style is earthy, minimal and warm. I want to express life, peace, and joy. Welcome back. I am T. Erica with the Feisty News for Women. Girl, guess what? What stops you from making your most wild dreams come true? Are you afraid to fail? Well, this woman isn't. India, Tell us all about how you surpass your own limitations to create your dreams every single day. My name is India and I have crazy faith. Okay, let me tell you about it. Okay, so I founded a high school when I was 29 years old, but y'all, it wasn't just a regular high school. It was an international studies high school and it wasn't just your average international studies high school. It was a free public international studies high school so i traveled the world with a lot of kids who never even left the city before i started the school before the pandemic of course and at the time it was really important to me that we have a global society where i'm from in indianapolis a lot of the kids here a lot of the people here don't even have access to our own city let alone the world so it's very important to me that i give kids access to the world i created 27 jobs in the city the school is still functioning. I ran it for five years before transitioning out and just being ready for what's next because I have crazy faith, so I know God has something even bigger for me next. And I also walked home from work one day with a kid and just became a mom just out of nowhere on a random Thursday. I have a daughter. She is one. Of, she, was, she was one of my students at my school. She was in ninth grade and we had you know, it's pretty typical, honestly, for students here to be 
on the streets and she decided one day that she just did not want to be on the streets anymore. She didn't want to be in that situation. She told the therapist at the school that she would like to be placed into uh, care, into the system. And I'm like, I have this big old house that God gave me. There was a whole other faith move, me buying this house. <laughs> and I was in it by myself. And I said, look, I'll be your mom. <laughs> like, let's just, you can come home with me today. I'll call your mother, the one who is no longer taking care of you. And if she gives you permission to go with me, then you'll just go with me. And it's been over a year and she's been my daughter and she's shown so much growth. She's my best friend. I know it sounds crazy. And at this point I own it. When I was 21 years old, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder after spending 72 hours in a mental institution. <laughs> but I don't really believe I have an illness. And what some people might see as delusions of grandeur are just big visions for a little black girl from a small town in Kentucky. They don't see that I have the possibility to do the things that I can do, but I know that I have the possibility. They are not delusions of grandeur. I just have crazy faith and it's through my faith in God. One thing I know for sure <laughs> is that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So all I have to do is believe that I've been called and believe that my life has purpose and love the Lord, whether I can see the Lord or not, whether I can feel the Lord or not, just give that love and literally everything that happens in my life will work for my good. Thank you, India, for sharing your story. I hope that every woman who watches develops the same kind of crazy faith. Well, thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the Feisty News for Women. <laughs>